boy, was it ever a cloudy, I was going to say week, but I feel like months it's so been a far, long time, right? Yeah, but they're, I'm, we're still optimistic after seeing that little bit of sunshine and blue sky, George. I'll tell you what, even though it wasn't full on sun, it made me feel so much better, George. Oh, mood lifter, isn't it? Yes. It really is. So I, I think we'll have a lot more than just a couple of those slivers, though, tomorrow. Looking good for the weekend, guys, and we deserve it, don't we? Yes, we do. very much. It's been a long time. Uh, a couple of days after um, Christmas, we did have about 50% of the sunshine on the 28th, but uh, it hasn't been anywhere near that sunny since. We've had about five minutes of sunshine this month. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the temperatures foreseen as we lose the precipitation. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Cloudy skies for this evening and then some breaks in the clouds and we're going to start out with some sunshine, maybe partly cloudy in the afternoon, but a lot brighter than the last several weeks, it seems like, as we climb back up into the mid 30s. Winds will turn around more to the north and start to bring in some of that drier air. For a couple of minutes, uh, we got the moon coming up. Oh, you know, it is after five o'clock. I can't see the moon because it's still cloudy. Moonrise with the uh, full wolf moon here tonight actually occurs exactly at 607. Goes down tomorrow morning at 909. So maybe you might be able to see the uh, full moon amongst the clouds that we have overhead right now. Still under the influence of that very persistent upper level though over northeastern Canada right now, but high pressure is building in. I think there'll be enough air mixing in from up above. It's a lot drier that will eventually become partly cloudy here during the day tomorrow. Our models showing all that precip coming to an end. Here are a few breaks from time to time, and then by the end of the day, lots of sunshine expected. No lake effect clouds. There'll be some high clouds coming in on Sunday, but that will be just filtered sunshine. I still think it will be uh, partly to mostly sunny across the region and we'll clear out again here Sunday night. On Monday, uh, we may see a few more of those high clouds come on in before uh, the clouds return later on next week. Now, temperatures are going to be in the mid 30s tomorrow. Our average high is 32, so anything above that is technically warmer than average. We'll get 37 here on Sunday and maybe even up close to 40 on Monday. And right now, the models are indicating that instead of cooling off, the middle part of the week may, may stay around 40 here for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. The long range trend from the 12th through the 16th says high chances for warmer than average readings continuing with high chances that we will see less system storms coming through the Great Lakes region. So for tonight, uh, cloudy early, mostly cloudy late. Temperatures down into the mid 20s. Watch out for some black ice on those areas that have not dried off. Low and mid 20s up north, similar conditions there. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, overnight lows between 24 and 27. 13 on your side forecast. We did have to put in a chance of some precipitation next to Thursday and Friday as we are going to get into some warmer air and then cooler and drier the following weekend. Rumors have it there were slivers of some blue sky today, and I'm thinking we're going to see a lot more than slivers here over the upcoming weekend as finally we'll see at least some sunshine. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the temperatures foreseen. We'll still be in the 30s and this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Temperatures uh, very similar to yesterday, just slightly above that average high of 32, ranging from 33 up north to 37 along the lakeshore. We forecast 34 here in Grand Rapids, and it did make 35 three days in a row within three degrees of our forecast high. That's our target every day. It's our Shush Mountain weekend forecast. Partly cloudy skies up north, staying below freezing all day Saturday. Light winds, so it should be very nice. And even on Sunday, partly cloudy and getting up to 35. There is uh, quite a bit of snow on the hills yet because they made a lot of snow when it was cold. Five inches of new snow at Indian Head Mountain. Cannonsburg, uh, you're 36% open. Uh, many areas anywhere from one foot to as much as a little less than four feet of snow. But, uh, you know, the winter has taken its toll on some of that. Even that ski bittersweet, you're 30% open with five inches of snow on the slopes. There's your ski report. High pressure is building down. It's going to start clearing our clouds out during the day tomorrow, maybe even late tonight. Still got a couple of flurries here and there, but here are some breaks by daybreak tomorrow. And as the day goes on, we'll see a lot of sunshine toward the end of the day. Maybe Ottawa County. Uh, you might have to wait until late tomorrow. Overnight tomorrow night, we might see a few clouds, and then on Sunday, the high clouds will retreat back into mostly sunny skies, and we'll do this again on Monday. Some morning sunshine, some high clouds coming in at times during the day, but at least we're going to see more sunshine than we have seen since the end of December, and 
maybe even the first part of November. It has been a, quite a while since we've seen clear skies. And then we're going to be back into the clouds starting on Tuesday, and that'll be the case through Friday as well. Every Friday, we get the long range outlook. This is from the 21st through February 3rd. Our part of the country will have higher chances for continuation of warmer than average readings. We also have a little bit higher chance to see more precipitation during that two week period. And if that's the case, it may be more in the form of some rain than snow. I don't see a lot of snow in the next week or two. Partly cloudy skies along the lake shore tomorrow. Look for highs in the mid 30s. Watch out for that black ice in the morning as temperatures look below freezing. Just above freezing along US 10, mid 30s elsewhere under partly cloudy skies. Similar here in the greater Grand Rapids area, partly cloudy or becoming so mid 30s. 13 on your side forecast. We're going to warm up a little bit toward Monday and instead of a cold front coming through middle part of the week, it's going to wait until later in the week. So we may get to 40 plus Monday through Thursday with a little bit of rain Thursday, changing to some snow before it ends on Friday. If we time it all well, we might have some more sunshine and seasonable weather next weekend.